Barney Good Girls basketball team is hosting a Calloway's Night February 1st from 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets are $25 per person for unlimited pizza, wings, and drinks. Come on out! Hey there, Bengal Buzz. We're here with uh, Peter Toth, and uh, he's here to talk about the Barnegat Junior Fire Department. Uh, Peter, what is a what does this program entail, and uh, you know how do we you know find you if you want to join? <laughs> the Barnegat Junior Fire Department is interested in looking for new members. Uh, <clears throat> we at the fire department uh, we train, uh, we go on fire calls, and we're preparing for the fire academy when we turn 18. Uh, the minimum age to join is 15 years old, but if you are coming up to your 15th birthday, uh, we can uh, work things out uh, to get the paperwork rolling. So uh, just come find me, uh, CJ Lindstrom, or Aaron Osborne uh, whenever you see us. Whenever you see us. Thanks, Peter. Ah. <laughs> the BFW announced the winner of the Voices of Democracy essay contest. The essays were on the topic "Why My Vote Matters," and Isabel Vascaglia's essay was considered as a winner. Now more than ever, my vote matters. My voice should and will be heard. Many young people like to complain about our society and the people who run our country, but they still don't exercise their right to vote. If you see a government official doing something that you do not particularly agree with, vote for someone who you will agree with. When you are given the opportunity to make a change in the country, why would you not take advantage of that? My vote matters just as much as your vote matters because just one person can change the country. Barnegat Girls Basketball Senior Night starting at 5.15. Come watch my bestie do her thing. Be there, be square. She's new. Great guys. So let's set the world fire! Seniors interested in going on the New York trip to see To Kill a Mockingbird. Please sign up and bring your dollars to Miss Flory by the end of this Wednesday. The trip will be on Tuesday, March 5th. Let's go. This week, after the half days, the Lit Mag will be selling pizza in the lobby for $2. Go grab a slice. <laughs> pizza time. The girls' golf team is having a meeting on Monday, February 4th at 2 o'clock sharp. It's in room A106, and there's no experience necessary. Come to the Junior Prom Fashion Show Tuesday, January 29th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the BHS Auditorium. International Thespian Society is affiliated with the Educational Theater Association. We believe in arts advocacy and the importance of bringing arts to the schools. So what we do here is essentially bring it all together into a really exciting action-packed weekend that is all about education and being able to share our talents and being surrounded by the things that we love the most, which is New Jersey Thespian Festival also opens us up to theater opportunities that are bigger than ourselves. We spend a lot of time focusing on fundraisers and charities for Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS. It's a charity related to HIV and AIDS research. Something that my school is starting is called the Find Your Voice campaign, and we're trying to spread it to all schools in New Jersey and soon internationally. And what we're trying to do is get students to write autobiographical monologues in their English classes, and they can submit it to the theater troops that can perform in like cabaret style performances. Personally, theater has saved my life, and it saves so many other people. So with that, we aim for everyone to help. Hashtag Find Their Voice. Hi, my name is Liz Gritelli, and I'm officer and president of Troop 7363. So we just got back from the Thespian Festival up in Robbinsville, New Jersey, and it was a really great experience. We got to um, take some workshops with awesome people, like Broadway professionals, and then also some of us performed. Like we did musical solo, some monologues, some contrasting monologues, um, and it was really fun. We got some really awesome feedback from these people, and yeah, it was just a good time to spend with everyone and get this amazing experience. Thespfest Fest was a fun experience with a small group of people that were there for their interest in singing, dancing, and acting. And uh, we met a lot of fun other groups from other schools like Pinelands. Hi, I'm Phoenix. I went to Thespfest Fest this year and I did a monologue and it was a lot of fun. Yeah.
my question for you today would be, what is the biggest difference between teaching AP classes and regular classes? Well, it's totally, it's really different because I have students who really want to be in the class. So, hey, there's a, there's drive there and interest. So that's a, that makes it kind of special for me. I usually the kids really want to learn. So it's a little more of a laid back atmosphere. So it's good. Are AP classes really as tough as, you know, CP kids think? You, you, you get, even the AP students coming in think it's, you know, it's going to be tough, but I think in certain subject levels, uh, I, I think in the sciences, the chemistry and the physics are probably the two toughest of the AP tests. What do you enjoy about teaching AP classes? Uh, I like that they're genuinely curious. That they really want to know things and they really want to attain some sort of higher level of thinking. What would you say to a student interested into joining an AP class? Mm -hmm. I would say it's definitely worth it. It's a good experience for you if you plan to go to college that even if you don't get an A, and a lot of kids are very concerned with taking AP because they want an A, yeah. even if you don't get an A, it prepares you for college. Mm -hmm. Thank Always you. welcome. AB. Thank you, Bangle Buzz. All the way. Happy Monday. Thanks for watching Bangle Buzz. You got the spirit, we got the scoop.